Hello and welcome to Fox Gaming. Today I'm painting Legolas. This is the fifth video in a series of videos where I paint up the entire Fellowship of the Ring. He will be painted to a parade ready standard. Let's begin. The miniature was primed using Mechanicus Standard Grey. You can use another priming if you want. The next color I use is Macrag Blue. This is used to paint his undershirt. Corvus Black was then used to paint his pants. Caliban Green is next. This is used to paint his tunic. When that is done, I use Rhinox Hide to paint his shoes, leg guards, bow, arm guards, quiver, arrow shafts, belt and straps. Lead Belcher was used to paint in the clasp on his belt and straps. For the details on his bow and quiver, I used Retributor Armor. Now it's time to shade the entire model except his face, hands, hair, knife handles and fletchers on the arrows. I use Nuln Oil for this. No worries if you hit these parts though, as they will be painted next. I paint his face and hands using Cadian Flesh Tone. Then I shade his skin using Raclan Flesh Shade. Sandry Dust was then used to paint his hair, knife handles and fletchers on the arrows. The shade helps to create depth to the miniature. Now we will take him to the next level by highlighting him. I start by using Mechanicus Standard Grey for the pants, hitting a small area so that the black color is the most dominant. For the second highlight, I use Dawnstone selectively picking out a small area within the previous highlight. The hair, knife handles and fletchers on the arrows was painted using Skeleton Horde. The shirt was highlighted using Calgar Blue. and Parisian Grey for the second highlights. For highlighting the tunic, I used Wog Flesh. I then move over to Strachan Green for the second highlight. The skin
skin was highlighted using Cadian Flesh Tone. Kislev Flesh was used as a final highlight on the skin areas. The hair, knife handles and fletchers on the arrows was then highlighted using Screaming Skull. All of the brown areas were highlighted using Gorthor Brown. The bow was also highlighted using this color. I just painted little lines all over to make a wood graining effect. Painblade Brown was used as a second highlight, sparingly hitting the outer edges. The bow was painted in the same way as the previous step. The lines were applied randomly. This means that they overlap the Gorthor Brown in some places and other places it overlaps the Rhinox Hide. The clasps was highlighted using Iron Breaker. I would like to point out that if you have some other metal colors, you can use that instead, applying the darkest one first and the lightest one second. And then a thinner edge highlight using Runefang Steel. The gold details was highlighted using a mix of Iron Breaker and Genos Gold. All that is left is to base the miniature. There are a lot of nice looking bases out there, so take your pick. I have made this homemade base ready that I use for this project. I have made a video about it and the link is in the description. I just glue on the basing material using PVA glue. Paint the rim of the base black and put on some green flock. With that, Legolas is done. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for the rest of the Fellowship Painting Guides. See you around.